The Holy Cross women's basketball team will begin the Patriot League playoffs at home this Saturday, hosting Lafayette at 1 o'clock at the Hart Center. But before that, the final regular season game tonight at the Hart Center. Holy Cross taking on Loyola. You always want to end on a good note going into the playoffs. Satyrs ready for the Greyhounds. Bill Gibbons ready for this one. First quarter. Nicole Morris, the drive and the finish for Holy Cross. Morris, just a freshman. Loyola led 10-3 after the first quarter. Low-scoring affair. Second quarter, Loyola shot off the mark. Trisha Byrne comes away with it. Fires ahead to Lauren Manis for the layup. Holy Cross is within five. Late in the first half, Bree Betts White, one of the top scorers in the league, going coast to coast. The finish, Loyola led by 10 at the half. Third quarter, Loyola making sure there will be no Holy Cross comeback. Lauren Doherty with the jumper. Loyola wins it 56-37. For more on the game, we go back to the Hart Center where Brenna Wilson is with Coach Bill Gibbons. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here with Coach Bill Gibbons. Coach, what did you see in the game tonight? Oh, not much, Brenna. That was uh, an old-fashioned uh, butt kicking. We, we uh, as much as I told the girls, uh, it's the psychology of sports. We had beaten them, it had to believe, at their gym six days ago. And uh, they had lost uh, seven in a row, and I knew they were going to come in here sky high, and it would be their Super Bowl. And they just out-hustled us, outplayed us, and we had our uh, worst game offensively of the season. And so a one-point victory down there turns into a 20-point loss here. It's, uh, that's the thing that happens if you're not ready to play right from the get-go. So. The only saving grace is it wasn't a playoff game and a new season starts on Saturday. And then looking ahead to Saturday, how do you kind of bounce back and get ready for that game? Well, we, we learn from our mistakes, Brenna, from this game. And, and it is a new season and every, everyone's zero and zero. And we saw what the men did last year. I'm sure everyone's talking about that. But we got to play better. We got to defend better. We got to rebound better. And I got to coach them better to have them ready for Saturday at 1 o'clock in the new season. Well, good luck on Saturday. Thank you, Brent. That's the story from here at the, at the Heart Center. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, thank you, Brenna. Thank you, Coach Gibbons. Now on to some district play from tonight. Holy name. Taking on Lincoln Sudbury in the districts. That's right, LS is part of the Central Mass District. Sophia Mazzarelli with the jumper for the Naps. They're up two. Warriors responding. Carly Van Leer putting it up and in, tying it up. Holy name on the move. Janai Edmonds lays it up and in. Naps up by two. More from Holy Name. Logan Lornell beyond the arc. Lornell dropping home the triple. And the Naps lead it by five. Lincoln Sudbury's Hannah Lepardo keeps it. Puts it in off the glass. Warriors down by three. Time running out in the first. Sophia Rosa in the paint. And LS is up by two. Holy Name with some good passing. Michelle Riley taking the bounce pass up and in. Knapp pulling within two, and Holy Name wins a big one tonight at home. 53-50 over a power from the dual county league. Marion and Abby Kelly, girls basketball. Second quarter, Marion's Tony Fantasia hitting the jumper, and the Mustangs are down by 11. Abby Kelly now. Queenly Burko going up. Hoop and the harm, and the Bears are up by 14. Abby Kelly hitting the offensive glass. First shot. Off the mark, but Beverly 2-4 there to put it up and in. Abby Kelly up 16. Marion in transition. Fantasia lays it up and in. Abby Kelly up by 14 at that point. Fantasia, offensive rebound. Scores again, but the Bears up by 12. Abby Kelly responding. Burko using the bank after dark and one. Bears up by 14. More from Abby Kelly. Kadisha Evans going off the window. Rattles it home, and the Bears are up big. Mustangs still digging in and still battling. Rachel Kruger with the long jumper. Abby Kelly, though, with a big win. 45-25 is your final. The Sutton girls basketball team continuing play in the districts after a big win at home last night. Now, Friday, they will travel to Millbury and take on the Woolies. The Susies are excited about trying to pull off the upset. Excited to play Millbury. We lost to them by a lot earlier in the season. Definitely looking for revenge on Friday. Um, they're a great team, but we can definitely upset them. We just need to play strong and play as a team. We'll be fine. Definitely more excited because it's like what you work for all season. And we've been working really hard in practice. And we're going to try our best to go as far as we can. 
All right, so Sutton at Millbury Friday night in the second round of the districts. The Holy Cross men's basketball team starts Patriot League playoff play tomorrow at Navy. Now, the Satyrs split with the mids during the regular season. Holy Cross, the very senior-laden team, too. Four of their top five scores are seniors. Head coach Bill Carmody likes that group. You know, they've been here for four years, and, you know, I've, I've had the pleasure of coaching those guys, you know, the seniors. Um, with Anthony and Matt also, um, you know, for, for two of those years. And it's hard when you bring a new coach in because they're recruited by somebody else and, you know, the style of play and the personality and all that goes with it. Uh, so they've been great, you know, uh, to me. And, um, you know, I think they've come along and, you know, they got that title last year, so that's one thing. But um, a couple of those guys are greedy, so they want a little more. All right, so Holy Cross is at Navy for the Patriot League playoffs that begin tomorrow night. And those seniors, they made a great run last year. They were the ninth seed going into the playoffs. They won the whole thing. They won four games on the road. No team had ever done that in Patriot League history. They went into the NCAAs. They won a game in the NCAAs for the first time since 1947, so, or 54. So, you know, they'd love to capture that magic again, but that group had that success. So just having that self-confidence, I think, will help. Very exciting. Good luck to them. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andreoli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. Have a good night.